Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's 5.15 and I believe we're in September, but I'm kind of wondering if we are. Sometimes I'll say, <laughs> sometimes I'll say July-August. July-August. I don't have one for September because, mm -hmm. you know, it was just so hot yesterday. Yeah, I can't even come up with a good one on that. Yeah. But yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it, it was, uh, it felt like July out there with the heat and humidity. We have one more day of that, sort mm -hmm. of. Okay. And then back into the uh, fall like temperatures out there this weekend where we'll have highs back in the lower 60s. But right now, none of that. Nice and quiet out there. Here's a live look outside of the Williston area. Nice clear skies and a very comfortable Tuesday morning out there where you've got a temperature of 58 degrees, light north winds at three miles an hour. Humidity 97%, which in some locations might deal with just a touch of fog out there. 60 degrees in the Dickinson area, south southeast winds at 10 miles an hour. See that dew point at 57. That's why. There are some locations dealing with just a touch of fog because it is still muggy out there. Satellite and radar picture nice and quiet this morning. Just some high clouds filtering across the Montana and North Dakota border. The clouds will be on the increase as we go through the day with some rain developing late tonight. Here's a look at temperatures elsewhere across the region. A cool spot in Sydney of 56, 73 still at this hour in Fargo. Temperatures elsewhere in your neighborhood, mostly in the mid to upper 60s, although a few locations have cracked the 70 degree mark like Napoleon and in Ashley further to the north. About the same thing, upper 50s and lower 60s, but a warm spot in Rugby right now. It looks like 68 degree as well as in Harvey, also checking in at 68. And here's a look at those dew points. Drier out to the west, lower 50, so you're really not dealing with a lot of those uh, moisture issues. But further back across the east, you can see mid to upper 60s, and probably today we'll have one or two locations get those dew points into the 70s. That's when it really starts to feel warm and tropical out there. Winds aren't too bad out of the southeast, at between 5 and 15 miles an hour. I don't think winds will be a big issue today. Precision cast will show us our next chance for precipitation, and that will come late tonight, probably after 10 o'clock. You can see here just showers on the doorstep this evening. Those will increase again. The best chance for severe weather, possibly mostly back across northeast Montana, but still can't roll out a shower or thunderstorm across the Williston and Dickinson area. And that's what the Storm Prediction Center is saying here. You can see extreme western sections, a small chance for an isolated severe thunderstorm and the risks associated with those storms tonight. Basically heavy rain, moderate sized hail and high winds. Don't think tornadoes will be a threat today and can't roll out frequent lightning. So today it'll be another warm one. 86 degrees. Clouds will be on the increase. It'll be mostly cloudy by the time the sun sets with that rain developing is probably after the sun sets tonight. Same thing in the Minot area. 88 degrees still warm and a little bit breezy out there with those winds gusting to 20 miles an hour. Here's a look at highs elsewhere across your neighborhood today. Most places will be in the mid to upper 80s yet again today. A little steamy and toasty out there. Then things will cool off. Lows tonight will be rather comfortable, mostly in the mid to upper 50s, as you can see there uh, for your particular area. Five day forecast for the Dickinson area. Late day shower maybe tonight, but then lots of sunshine. And then you can see as we get toward the weekend, a chance for rain, especially Williston as well with the chance for that rain. A rainy Friday across the entire region. Unfortunately, I think high school football will be a little moist uh, this weekend. And you can see their temperatures heading south over the next seven days back into the lower 60s. And yes, you are seeing that correctly. Monday, the first day of fall out there. So enjoy these summer like temperatures now because the times are changing. I'm still in the 60s and uh, I've been enjoying the time outside. That average, you know, average highs are upper 60s for this time of the well, year. Well, so. can't complain too much then. And that actually takes us to our question of the day, which you can find on Facebook at KX News and KX News Minot. And we're asking if you've been taking advantage of this warmer weather and spending a little more time outside than usual and 63% of people say yes, they have been. That was me included. 37% say no, they've been just doing their regular thing. So uh, be sure to join us in on that conversation. And when we return this morning on Good Day Dakota, so much for Friday night lights. We'll tell you about the school that prefers to play a little earlier. And uh, there's a reason for that. We'll tell you what that's all about when we return.